Okay, so essentially the more conjugated double bonds there are, the uh, higher the wavelength and the lower the energy that's absorbed. Okay, so let's see if we can explain that a bit. So ethene just has one double bond, and so the radiation that it absorbs, uh, the so-called maximum wavelength of the radiation it absorbs, is about, let's say, 300 nanometers. So that's in the UV. Now, so if ethene absorbs UV, then it's going to appear colorless to me. You know, I can't tell it's absorbed UV. I can't see that. The next uh, molecule has uh, two double bonds in it, two conjugated double bonds. And so that's now going to absorb a little bit higher, let's say 330 nanometers, still in the UV. And so this also appears colorless. And with uh, three conjugated double bonds, that's going to be an even higher wavelength absorbed. So higher wavelength means lower energy. So slowly the energy being absorbed is, is, is with increased conjugation is less and less and eventually we're going to nudge into uh, the visible light being absorbed. The first three absorb ultraviolet but the fourth one is going to absorb visible. That has uh, four conjugated double bonds. Uh, don't forget you have to join the hydrogens or you'll lose a point. I know because when I grade IB exams I have to take a point off. So this one has a maximum wavelength of absorption of about 400 nanometers, and that is just into the visible now. So it requires less energy to excite these electrons in these conjugated bonds. And so since there's lots of conjugation, it requires less energy than before. So less energy than ultraviolet is kind of the bluey violet. So blue is absorbed, and so the complementary color remains. So if you were to look at that, horrible tetrine organic chemical, it would appear to be kind of ready orange. Notice how you spell color. All right then, let's move on to the next bit. The IB also wants you to know about uh, retinol, or retinal, seems to be virtually the same thing, which is vitamin A. Now that has lots of conjugated double bonds there. I can see uh, four, and so four it's probably going to absorb in the visible, and indeed it does. Uh, when it absorbs in the visible, it's in your eye. Uh, when it absorbs in the visible, uh, it allows you to see. Very clever thing. The other thing the IB are interested in is phenolphthalein. So let me just draw it out. I'd like to tell you I'm drawing it out for memory, but I have the book in front of me. So phenolphthalein is an acid-base indicator, and the molecule that I'm drawing out now is colorless. It's the, the one where it's an acid. So it's a colorless molecule. You'll notice, okay, there are no more than three uh, conjugate double bonds on the top two benzene rings, and on the bottom one, the, the double bonds uh, conjugated in the benzene ring are not really going to be delocalized with the, the carbon or the C double bond O group. So essentially, uh, this is colorless. It absorbs in the UV. It has uh, three or less conjugate double bonds. And it absorbs in the UV. And I can't see UV, so it doesn't matter to me. It just looks colorless. All the light passes straight through it. So that's the acid, if phenolphthalein is in acid. Uh, when phenolphthalein is in base, I'll just make a copy over here, it turns purple. So that means it must have four or more conjugated double bonds because it's absorbing visible light. So there's one there, one there, one there, and four conjugate double bonds. The, all those are capable of swapping around, uh, jumping around, double single, double single, uh, resonating, if you will. And not only uh, are there more conjugate double bonds there now, there's also some delocalization on this C double bond O, uh, O minus group. So what does that mean? Well, it means it's absorbing visible light, uh, and it, it looks purple. So what's the complementary color of purple? That's what's been absorbed. The complementary color of purple is indeed green. All right, that's it.